welcome. This is the Modern Geek Podcast. Coming at you live. Please subscribe through YouTube or Twitch. Hope you enjoy the show. Hey everybody, this is the Modern Geek, also known as Vant Marion. We're going to be doing another unboxing of our timed exclusive for Disney Infinity 3.0. Again, part of our Star Wars series. Um, this is also part of our Rebel collection of characters from the Rebel TV show. Um, and this is Zeb. He was actually a GameStop exclusive. Uh, again, timed exclusive. So the nice part is we will all be getting these figures. Just uh, some retailers had them uh, a little bit early than they were going to release. So if you were able to get in there and get one, um, you got to have this character a little bit early. Um, currently, I haven't done any gameplay with him at the moment. Little known fact, you can actually play with these guys through the box. So um, for us collectors, that's cool if there is a variant or rarer one. Uh, in the case of Disney Infinity, they're pretty good about not making their exclusivity bad. Um, in fact, they really don't do exclusive characters or exclusive content. Very rarely. Um, and then even at that point, it was still easy to get them. Um, such as some of the variant crystal figures, the collector's edition base for uh, Marvel superheroes wasn't terribly hard to get, so um, they're pretty kind of focused out there. Um, I have to say, I'm actually really looking forward to unboxing this character. Zeb is a really cool character on the show, and obviously he's really cool in the Star Wars universe because out of a lot of the launch characters, he's one of the few aliens from the... Um, Rebel show that we have in uh, Disney Infinity character form. Uh, obviously, we have Yoda and we have um, Ahsoka, which are also, you know, alien esque characters because they don't look, they're not human, uh, they're not human looking characters. Um, but Zeb is a little bit kind of further than that, um, which is pretty cool. And he's just, he's a very massive, really cool figure. And I'm interested to see how he plays because I'm sure he's going to play a lot differently. Uh, to give you a closer look, and I'm sorry for the glare in the box, you can see he's, one thing right off the bat is he's larger than all the other characters in the Rebel line. So if we take a look, he's a 3.0 Disney Infinity character. Uh, he's got that nice in-game shot there. And he's part of the Star Wars franchise. And his full name is Zeb Aurelius, Aureli yeah, Aurelius, um, which is pretty cool. And then if we flip to the back, you can see it sort of shows you what you're gonna do with him. I'm gonna take him, I'm gonna put him on the Disney Affinity base and I get to play with him. He's a toy box only character technically because the Rebel characters don't have their own play set. We'll talk a little bit more about what that is in a minute. Um, you'll see there the check mark that says he will work with Disney Infinity 3.0 but not work with 1.0 or 2.0. So similar to all the other Toy to Life games, old toys or old things are compatible with new. New is never compatible with old. Um, and just to kind of wrap our heads around what Disney Infinity is, it is a Toy to Life game. Other examples you may know of is Skylanders. Uh, sort of on a level, uh, Amiibos are kind of in that same category where you take a physical toy and that physical toy in the bottom of it has a chip which a reader or some sort of base will look at and either in the case of Disney Infinity you become that character and play the game or Skylanders. Uh, in the case of Nintendo, uh, may unlock different content, may unlock different things. Um, not necessarily uh, you are that character. Um, pretty cool. And of course, Disney Infinity is an awesome game, and the concept is you can take all of Disney's property, so meaning things from Disney classic movies, or Pixar movies, or Marvel um, Universe and movies, or now Star Wars Universe and movies. Um, things from the Muppets, things from classic Disney. Uh, pretty much you name it, it's there, uh, and that's the idea, to mash it all together and to make it uh, make your own game and create your own stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, awesome. So if we take a look at the rest of the back, it gives us a little description of Zeb, some more in-game art, and some other criteria. It also gives us a roster of all the characters in the Star Wars franchise that have been announced so far. Um, to read this to you guys, Rebel Brawler with Bow Rifle for Blasting Imperial Forces. So... Right off the bat, they're kind of giving us, he's going to be a melee character with some shooting. 
which is pretty cool. And then it says play now in the Toy Box 3.0, bonus unlockable in all Star Wars play sets. So this time around, a play set, just to kind of define that word, um, play sets in Disney Infinity mean structured gameplay. So uh, they do make these sets where basically you can play through um, sort of structured missions, structured storyline, um, and those play sets are, will correlate with what's called a playset piece. Um, and that piece you will put on your base and it will unlock that world for you to play in. Uh, and then characters who belong to that playset, you can immediately play that adventure with. Um, in the case of Star Wars though, they changed it up because it used to be only characters from that franchise or that playset could play in it. Well, with Star Wars, um, there are things to find in the playset that will eventually let you play every Star Wars character in the whole playset, which is really cool. Um, currently, you can take a look at the gameplay for both the Twilight of the Old Republic, which is what this piece is, and Rise Against the Empire, which actually is the Death Star as a clear game piece. Um, and in there, we're going to start using these characters to play. I've already... I uh, used a few of the Rebel characters in some of those cases, so you can check out that gameplay on Twitch. Um, but going forward, we'll be using more and more of them to play around and kind of have that experience. So without further ado, we took a tour of Zeb's box. We took a tour of him in the box. Let's get him out of the box. So Zeb is officially the harder character to open. He's a massive, massive figure. So I like him already because he's like really heavy. So he reminds me of like the Hulk or Venom, their figures. Here's him in his plastic kind of semi-prison. All right, so I can tell you also right off the bat, so he's a heavier character. One of the things I could tell you right off the bat is you want to be careful when you're taking him out because um, he is kind of wedged in there because he's got this, and you'll see more of it, this long weapon. Um, you want to be careful when you take that out because he kind of can bend a little bit. Nice. So he's not, um, he's not fragile, fragile, but he's, you know, he's got some weight to him. Nice. So he's definitely heavy. Um, all of our characters are going to come with a card. The card is used for the PC version or the iOS version. There's a code on the back from covering up. Um, and use the, that code to redeem the character there. So you have a virtual, um, a virtual rede redemption uh, that will allow you to play as that character in those versions of the game since they don't have a base. Um, Without further ado, let's take a look at him as a figure. So I'm going to do my 360, uh, 360 scan. So right off the bat, um, I love the fact a that he's he's just massive. I mean, he's even got he's coming off the base more than the other characters do, off the circle, which is nice. And just in general, he's got this really awesome pose, really awesome expression. So again, as always, that intent that really cool looking, um, just purpose in the moment, um, kind of that inherent action that these Disney Infinity characters have, um, cause they're meant to be statuesque. Um, he's got that wonderful, nice big weapon, which is, of course is a lot different cause a lot of our characters have lightsabers as their weapon. Um, and just really nice, you know, multi-color passes. I mean, if you look at the face, we get those green eyes and just, Nice color separation, nice detail color. Um, just in general, really nice, solid paint job. In general, the paint jobs on all the figures have been really spot on. There haven't been really too many blemishes or mistakes. And you can tell that the molds and just the, the poses are getting more aggressive too, where they're a lot more dynamic.
Now, of course, with Rebels and Clone Wars, and in general, a lot of the Star Wars stuff, it lends itself very well to the Infinity style because it looks, the Infinity style looks a lot like um, the way those shows are because they're all that, they are uh, computer generated graphics. Um, so they kind of work really well for the Infinity. But um, really awesome. I, I mean, in general, I he's a figure I was looking forward to, and the figure doesn't disappoint. It's really, really cool, really, really nice action to it. Um, I can't wait to get him in the game and start doing some gameplay with him. Um, we'll definitely get that going soon. So stay tuned to our Twitch channel to find that. Um, thank you guys for watching the unboxing, and I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I'd love to know in the comments if any of the figures we've unboxed you know, are your favorites? Is Zeb one of the fi figures you were really looking forward to as well? Um, have you had some fun playing with him? You know, in general, I'd love to hear what you think and kind of what your experience so far with Disney 3.0 3 has been. Um, awesome. Thank you guys again. Check out our Twitch page if you want to see the live gameplay of Disney Infinity and many other titles that we'll be looking at and reviewing. Um, look at our YouTube page for more unboxings. We got tons of stuff coming that are going to be on the radar um, besides Disney Infinity, if that's not the only thing you're a fan of. Um, and check out our Facebook page as well uh, with general news about everything from movies to weekly comics to all things geekness uh, that are in the modern age for that modern geek. Um, so definitely check us out and I appreciate again the support and please like this video please subscribe to our page please like us on facebook uh, and we'll see you soon at the next video take care